Hey makers, in this episode, I am going to talk about host object in Power Apps. We know that when we are running our application, sometimes we have device specific issue or browser specific issue. At that time, for debugging purpose, along with that for logging purpose, this host object is really helpful to us. So let's get started and explore that in depth with me. But before that, if you haven't followed me on my Twitter and Instagram so far, do follow me because these are the platform where I'm uploading short content on Power Platform. First of all, let me show you what is host object. So whenever you are opening your canvas application and when you expand your app section over here, you can see this host object. This host object will provide you the different information. Now let's see what host object is offering to us. So let me take one label control on my screen over here and let me just start typing host. So whenever you type host and after that, if you use dot operator, you are able to see this many of property you will getting from it. It will providing you the browser agent information, operating system type, session ID, tenant ID, version, or whether it's offline enabled or not, you will get all the information over here. And if you simply use that like host.os type, so right now I'm using Mac operating system, so I'm getting that information. So this information in the practical life you can store in your database as well so now let's just have a quick clue of all the objects over here so the first thing i have used over here is host dot browser user agent so what it will do is it will providing you the browser information over here so let's say chrome safari what kind of browser agent you are using it it will provide you that information then second is a uh, host dot os type that will provide you operating system so i am login from mac os so it is providing me that then session id so host dot session id and that will providing you this kind of session id to you then same way tenant id host dot tenant id and you will be able to see this kind of tenant id over here then host version then host dot version and this is providing you the what kind of host version it is using and whether it's offline enabled or not so host dot offline enabled and true or false boolean value you are getting from here okay so this is all about the host object in power platform also right now this host object is only available for canvas application and custom pages it is not available for the model driven applications so use this host feature in your real projects and tell me in the comment section if you like this video or not with this, this is Dhruvin signing off. See you in the next session. Bye.